Good evening and welcome to the Deerfield uh, Board of Health Select Board meeting of September 30th, 2019 at uh, 5 12 uh, p.m. We're going to uh, call the meeting to order and enter uh, into executive session for a short time uh, to finish up some business and then we'll, we'll be right back out to continue our agenda. So um, I'd like to make the motion to go into executive session pursuant to Mass General Law Chapter 21B, Paragraph 2, to conduct strategy sessions in preparation for negotiation with non-union personnel or to conduct co uh, collective bargaining sessions or contract negotiations with non-union personnel interim town administrator contract. Have a second? No second. All those in favor? Dave Wolfram, aye. Trevor McDaniel, aye. Carolyn Nessa, aye. Thank you. Welcome back to the Deerfield Select Board Board of Health meeting on September 30th, 2019. We've returned from executive session. It is uh, 5.35 and uh, we will start with our, our minutes. Um, so I'd like to entertain a motion to approve the minutes of August 20th, 2019 and November 28th, 2018. If you want to do those separately, that's fine, but. Because I can't approve the 18th. Okay. The so November 28th. I have to abstain from that. Okay. Do you want to do that? I make a motion to approve August 20th, 2019. I'll second it. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 I make a motion to approve November 28th, 2018. Uh, second that. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Someone abstention? Abstain. Okay, so um, so we have Board of Health, uh, Board of Health reports and announcements. We have um, just reminders that we are building uh, community community. Um, come to your local flu clinic Tuesday, October fifteenth, nine a.m. to eleven a.m. at South County Senior Center, and Saturday, October twenty-sixth, from ten a.m. to twelve p.m. at the Deerfield Town offices here at Eight Conway Street. So bring your insurance card and come get your flu shot. And tick night is tomorrow night at 6 o'clock here with um, Paul from UM UMass um, Labs. Great. So um, on to old business. We will um, review and finalize special town meeting motions. So um, we've each got a list of kind of who is going to do each motion, but do you want to go through each of them and see if you have any questions? Um, I don't have any problem with Two, but I was going to recommend that we are uh, table article three. Okay. Um, and the reason for that is because we ha we don't really know what we're going to okay. put forward on round four. Okay. We're going to update the MVP program on Wednesday at six o'clock. Right. Um, but we don't Wednesday really have any information. Ready. Right. Okay. We don't because we don't really know what we're going to do at this point. Um, right. I was hoping to move Article 9 to the, ask moderator to move Article 9 to um, the first position. Okay. Um, because, I mean, that was the whole purpose of this town meeting. And I think it's really important that we don't have people, or Cut we could do, PM. yeah, or we could do it as Article 2. Maybe it's better as Article 2 because it gives people a couple more minutes to get here. So if we could move Article 9 to position Article 2. And we have to ask the moderator. We have that, to right? ask the moderator. Okay. Um, and Dave, you ha are fine with asking for this, or do you want me to do this? For what? For you Article 9. nine. Um, it has your name on it, but I, I can do it if you wish. I can do it. Do you, do you, are you prepared to speak to it? Well, I think there's going to be an open discussion on this one. Sure. Yeah. Do you mind if I do it? Because I no, you can do it. Okay. okay. And I had got a plan out in case okay, you good. wanted it for any okay. reason Perfect. to have to That's look good. at. Um, so we need to um, obviously have the motions on that. That's and then, um, so Article 5, Trevor, mm -hmm. um, and Article, so 5, what, I mean, Dave is Article 4. Mm -hmm. Dave, you're all set with that, right? Yep. You know that Lori had gotten the, we're just 
finding the match for Lori. Um, so Article 5, mm -hmm. uh, you're, you are going to speak to that, Trevor, or do yeah. you want to table that? No, I'm going to speak to it. Why would I want to table it? Well, because we don't, Mike's not here, so I'm not care. spending the money. It doesn't matter. We're getting our office set, and I, yes, I don't have that specific person in place, but I'm asking for that money in that department so that I'm ready before June 30th. Okay. There's no way in. All right. Skip, did you hear that? He's heard it a couple times. Okay. <laughs> On Article 5, yeah. even though we don't have the person, in the office, Trevor does want to go forward with Article 5 to ask for the extra money so that we could hire a person, even though I know we're not spending the money. And I know Well, I you don't know we are because we don't have the person yet. How much are you paying the person? I'm not sure yet. I, the reason is I only come to town meeting when we have a town meeting. That's the only time I can ask for money. So I'm asking for the money now to put it back in our budget that we gave back last year. And then... Um, well, forget the gift. You didn't give anything back. We give 31 back last year. You didn't give anything. It just automatically transfers Correct. to cash. Correct. Exactly. Right. Meaning we didn't use it last year. So you have 166000 right now mm -hmm. at the end of September. Yep. Talking about adding 31, it brings you up to 197000 Yep. For nine months. Yep. You started with 199000 for 12 months. Right. And there would have been enough money in there to do what you want to do? Uh, I don't think so. <clears throat> and you can't tell us what it's for. I don't have it. Uh, well, it's for staff, but I don't have it nailed down. We don't yet. have a staff. Right. Well, sk uh, staff skip, skip, skip. Yes, skip. I can tell you what the staff. We like. we we thought we we had Mike on board, and so we would were having Diana and Mike, and so we needed the money to cover both Diana and Mike. And we we want a Mike type person. So is and we also are want you saying more staff. are you saying that we are, you would support us going ahead? And hiring someone and, and coming back to you for that money? No. They've, they've said no. They've already got a vote. No, 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 no. Not, not no, I know. Correct. Because we, we don't have any idea how you're going to spend it. That's well, okay. it would That's be fine. For, it would be I, for staff, okay. Skip. It's staff. It's for staff that we hope to hire. I, so tell me what it is. I've asked that question. We I've told you. I've got a position to hire for assistant town administrator. We may have other staff that we need to support the offices of the t to run the town in the next, till June 30th. And you didn't have those, you didn't know what those were in last April? Correct. Well, I did. As a matter of fact, last April we did, but then uh, several select board members came to the finance committee and cut that out last minute. So. I'm here again asking. Yes. Where else do we run the town out of? I think actually I don't. I think that was out of Board of Health. We had asked for money in Board of Health. But we, we do it all out of this that's office. That's correct. We are doing the Board of Health. I'm just right. saying that that's where the budget line was when we asked for it last year. Okay. I'm just trying to clarify so that there is nobody that there is some good discussion about this, not just. You don't, you don't have an idea what, how you're spending. You're not I, spending I, what you have. I, I, I'm, I, Skip, I would feel more comfortable tabling this, but I'm, not, I'm going to support Trevor on this because we somehow need to have more money when we go to Correct. hire. We're not able to hire anyone at the current We need the money, money for the assistant. We need the money for the assistant, and, a se and we may need more. Well, we interviewed. We needed sixty to seventy thousand. Okay. Right, and then we also we also may need another half-time personnel to deal with all the stuff we're dealing with in town. What else do we need? What's the town administrator salary? Ninety. Ninety. Seventy. Right, and we may and we and we have past fifty-six. So that's. Not is. enough money. Something. And we've got That's twenty six over the existing budget. Uh, right. And I, and we and we need money for for uh, minutes and we may need some extra help to deal with all the all the um, matches and all the work that we're doing in the office between we haven't still haven't figured out what's going on over here. We're asking for money in that department. Whether it goes or not, I agree. We'll have that discussion. But that's the problem. You, you've had that position available over there for. I get it, but it's not you easy. Been advertised. There's no job description. 
That's what we had. And no one's been No, asked. that's not accurate. Where's the job description? For what position? The, the For the inspection. In inspection department. Oh, it's Part of the issue, Skip, posted. is that, you know, we have, we have one meeting a year, and then we may have a fall meeting. This is the only time I can ask for money without coming to the finance committee to ask for a transfer fund. I want to be up front with the, with the residents and tell them these are the plans we'd like to do. I don't have it completely nailed down at this moment, but between now and June, I want that ability. I'm not going to spend the money on another whole town meeting. It doesn't matter. I've got to pay a lawyer to come all the way out. Why do I need to when I have one right now? Because you don't know what you're using. Of course I know what I'm using it for. I'm using it for staff. Then please break it down for everybody. I have. We just broke it down again. I've just broke it down again, Skip. I don't know how else to break it down for you. This is the first time that you've given it to me. Like I said, it takes time. And, and hiring staff is not easy, as you can tell. We've done this for the four years I've been here. It's been a, a, a round and a round and a round. I want to have enough money in that department to hire the staff that we need. If we don't use it, it will turn back to free cash, just like it did last this, year. This budget is there. This budget the town meeting approved. Correct. The budget that the selectman asked for. At the time, yes. And now you need to change it. Yes, it's correct. And That's why I'm here. You can't sit and really Yes, I can. I just explained it to you. Whether the people want to go for it, that's their choice. I'm leaving it up to them. That's why I'm here asking. So, Skip, does it just, make sense just, that Trevor is saying that we need the sixty to 70000 for that position? Well, if you take the ninety and seventy, that's 160 right? And then 56 for Pat, so that's 216 yes. Then minutes. And then any other staff that we'd like to have. Another staff. How much other staff? My guess is that I would like at you least. That you've already cut, you're already through a, a quarter of the year. Correct. You're not going to hire people for at least, at the very least, another six, three months before you get to it. it. The money doesn't disappear, Skip. It goes back to free cash if we don't sell it. I mean, if we don't get the person hired. So if you need another person. At thirty-five, $35,000, you have enough money in the account to cover that. I don't think we do. Because just adding up those three positions, there's 216000 We have 199 in there. How many weeks do we have left in the fiscal year? You're, you're one quarter through the fiscal year. So what, are we talking, well, how many weeks is that less? Um, 12, 14. That's one quarter of the year. So you're three quarters, you've got three quarters left. So take three quarters of the salary that you're putting in the town administrator. Take three quarters of tax. What is that amount? My question is why do, we have to net, why do we have to nickel and dime this down to the exact penny? You nickel and dime every department. No, we don't. Why don't we just We're say, here to support why people. Say, why don't you just say that all the departments just Throw out a number and we will accept that and go for it. Skip, because skip, that's skip. It, it's We're trying to figure this out. Um, I don't have my phone. Can, there's how no many? way to run a business, there's no way to run a town. Well, nickel and diamond, this small amount of money is no, is no way to waste Dave, multiple you know, meetings and get people all upset, stamping out of the room. I mean, it's so not it's weeks. not good, Skip. Yeah, it's we weeks. need to support our staff. So three, there's I'm, I'm missing that. 39, yeah, 39 weeks. Left. There's 39 weeks. If we have, what's 39 weeks of? Um, I, I don't know. But you know, I came the up thing of it is, is the three quarters number. expenditure. We can't consider Pat's pay or Diana's pay right now because that's already being expended. So that, so, so that's. It's so, it's so, the new expense of the. Assistant Town uh, Administrator so look, and some additional so clerical. Let me, see, let me take this just so that it's fairly. Would you say tax was? 56. Okay, 56. That's 14000 a quarter, right? No. Yes. Okay. So you got 42 left, right? Mm hmm. 39 left, actually. 
Hmm? You said if we already did a quarter, we have about 39 weeks. We left. have 39 weeks. Actual weeks. I'm talking about. Oh, three quarters. Yeah. Forty-two thousand dollars. That's a, that's three quarters of the salary. Yeah. Three quarters of money. Two seventy divided by four. Sixty-seven fifty. Hundred nine. And add another thirty-five thousand that you you hired an assistant administrator on January first. No, we're going to try to that's do that's going to be seventy thousand for the assistant. Thirty-five for half a year. You really think you're going to you're going to go through the hiring process and get somebody on board before that? Hopefully. So, that, so that's one hundred and forty-five. How much do you have left in the account? One hundred and sixty-six, if I remember correctly. You get twenty thousand dollars more in there than you need right now, and you want to add thirty to it? Yes. I want to add thirty to it, Skip. Why? Because I want to have enough money and I want to set the right ex expectations for our residents that this is the amount of money we want in that budget every year going forward. You don't need it this year. We're only talking about this year. Mm -hmm. I completely don't understand. Your argument absolutely makes no sense whatsoever. That's fine, Skip. It's okay. <clears throat> It's not okay. It's okay if you don't understand it. Then you need to explain it to me because I just explained to you that you only need 145. When I did the numbers, I realized we need about another just under or around thirty thousand dollars, and that is setting the expectations. Show those to me so that I can see. It. Because every year we're going to come back here and you're going to argue in, in through December. You're going up twenty percent next year. You're going. To, I want to be honest with the people when I know. I know now I have, a, I have a town meeting in front of me. I'm going to tell them what we expect to spend next year for salaries. That's what I'm putting in the budget. And if they want to vote me down, they vote me down. That's fine. It's positions. It's not the salaries. It's the positions and the new salaries that are attached to it. Mm -hmm. So I've just gone through for the town administrator at $90,000 you're going to need another 67000 this year. Okay. For the assistant, clerical assistant in there, you're going to need another 42. Mm -hmm. That's 109. Any problems there? Nope. Understand. If you hire an, an assistant time administrator, let's call it 72000 Okay. That comes out to $6,000 a month. Okay. How many months? We hope the rest of the year. You're not going to hire today. Uh, of course not today, but You're gonna hire eight again. months. Eight months. Oh, I don't know. Eight months. I, I don't know, Skip. That's the How problem. Soon? It's a you challenge. Can possibly get it done in a month. We, we may. We've interviewed many before. We hope they come back. You know, the problem is we didn't. The, the problem is, Skip, we have these meetings, we, we interview these people, we don't have the money in the budget, and they walk away. You do have the money in the budget. No, we did not. You did have the money we in the budget. We did not have the money in the budget at the time. For where? For that position. For what position? For the assistant town administrator. When we looked at hiring, we did if not have enough. If you hired in July 1, you would not have had the money, but you didn't hire in July 1. He's Correct. not there now. Mm -hmm. You would have had to add to it. I understand your logic. I understand your logic, but every time we come, we are arguing with about about a small amount of money. It is. It's fairly true. It is not true. Mm -hmm. So, Skip, you would be supportive of us hiring this person at say sixty to seventy without a problem, right? If that's one person, if the, if the position warrants it, and what I would ask again is that. You do an evaluation of the position so that you can determine where it fits on the salary schedule. And okay. it may so not. Is it a grade four, a grade five, a grade six? I'm not. Yeah. It's not, it's not a good deal. It's what you need to do, period. It's what we've been doing in town for years. Dave, how do you feel about this? Well, it, it is what we've been doing in town for years. 
And it's guess what? Working. It hasn't been working. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Now, what I said was you evaluate the position, you decide where it fits on the salary schedule. Yeah. Or a contract, if you go that route, mm -hmm. and you said 70000 I said 72. Mm -hmm. 72 is $6,000 a month. Six months. That's if you hired July 1st, or January 1st. 36000 42000 if you hired December 1st. There is enough money in the budget to do that. So my argument, though, is when a candidate comes to look at town, they look at our financials and they go, hmm, you've only got 58 budgeted here, and you don't have enough money to pay me, I'm pretty shaky. I'm not sure the finance committee is going to support us. I, you know, those are factors when people look at a so, town to so come. Who, who said that to you? I'm not saying anyone said that to me, but what I'm saying is that if I were looking for a job and I came to a town and I realized that the town has never budgeted enough money and we're on camera arguing about $30,000 for a position, you know, they may get cold feet and walk to somewhere else. I mean, I'm, I want to position, I want to fund the positions for what I think they deserve. And then if we don't use the money, it will roll back. It's not like we're going to buy a Cadillac. I mean, it goes back to the town. We're not wasting the money. I'm not spending it on frivolous stuff. We're trying to set the expectation of the residents that this is the money we need for the year. And if we don't spend it, Fine, it rolls back next year, but that person that comes to gets hired, they so, say, you've got enough money supported in this budget so to support let's, me. So, let's assume for the moment that the town does not approve of the 31000 Correct. So what are you going to do? I don't know what I'm going to do. We'll go back and, you know, just like every other time when I lose a vote, we go back and figure out what we're going to do. We'll pull up our bootstraps and find some other way to do it. Go right ahead and hire the position. We may have to, right? But I want to be honest and upfront and with people. And you would have the money Yes. Yes, for this year. But I get it. But what I, but Trevor, to, Trevor's but I worried. I hold another town meeting to then get funding for it. Trevor's just, worried about next year. I'm worried about setting the expectation for the years coming forward. For whatever reason, you can't seem to understand. I understand you. The budget is adequate to cover the cost. That it you have it may or may not be correct. No, it is adequate. I, it may or may not be depending on how what we hire and what we need for staff. Correct. It may and it may not be, but I know it's not next year. And I want to start setting the expectations for our residents what it costs to run this department. We have shortchanged that department for year after year after year, what? ever since I've been here. Because it was, we don't, we don't fund enough money, it's hard to find people, we go through people like this, we get a reputation for, a, for an office that's not doing the job. I mean, I'm tired of it. I want to fund the department for what it needs, and I want to support those people with the funds to get the job done. And I want to move the town forward on all the stuff we have going forward. And to help the town, the town meeting. If what do you mean? If they want, you don't need to deal with them. Why do you think I'm here? That's, I'm here to ask them. He, I, what Trevor wants to do is to be upfront that um, we need to fund our, the selectman's office. But I understand where you're coming so you from can't, you because can't the money you is there. So why are you talking about funding when you don't know what you need for staff? Well, I know I need a lot more than I have right now. Well, what Trevor's worried about is is if we can't find it, if we have a candidate, the candidate isn't funded beyond July, uh, June 30th. We, I just told you what you've got available. I know. And then we have you to come it. back. I'm here, Skip. There's 166000 in the budget unspent mm -hmm. as of today. Got it. And yeah, but June there's... 30th, I'm not going to have enough again. You need 110000 give or take, to cover... So what you're saying... To cover that and Diane. Skip. That leaves you with 56000 56000 56, Not enough. For nine months? May not be. If we want to hire one other person or one person in a part-time, it's not enough to run the town. I've, I've been here for four years. I've seen how it works. Not enough. Maybe if you hired the people that you were the positions, if you filled the positions that have been available to you, yes. it would not have been a problem. But, the, but, it, but we can't fit. Haven't done that. Because they don't want to come here for that little amount of money, Skip. That's the problem. It's the money that we've set out to pay people is not enough. To get the quality of rep representation we need now, we have shortchanged that department for years. And it's time to step up 
level with the people and say what we need to do and hire them and run this town efficiently. We've been roping and doping around this thing forever. It's just back and forth, not hiring the right people or hiring somebody and they walk out the door, they're not, they get uncomfortable, there's not enough money in the budget, are you gonna be there for me next year? Because right now we're, we're looking at a, we're looking at next year with a budget request of around $232,000 for that office. But I'm just saying, you know, right now we have to hire an assistant town administrator. We have to hire one additional clerk in there. In, in there? Yeah. That's the first time I've heard that. Well. And, and so here we are at a town meeting and. We're trying to get this you're discussed. Waiting, you're waiting until the last minute. No. To, Skip. So no one on the finance committee except for me knows that. We talked about this last year and got the legs cut out from under us. We had people talking about planning, economic development. We've had all kinds of discussions for years. And every time we get to the budget, the legs get cut out from under me and I don't have the money to do the staff. Or we can't find them because we don't have enough in the budget. Or we just can't find them because of the reputation we have. I'm not sure what it is, but it's been a disaster. And I want to turn it around. I want to tell people what we're going to spend. And I want to tell people that we want to hire enough people to do the job that we have. We have big projects coming around. We're going to need the help. And I don't want to have to come back in May and say, we don't have enough money, I need more money. I, want, you know, I just want to tell people, because we're having a town meeting today, this is what I would like to have. If you want to give it to me, I'll be grateful. If you don't, I'm going to have to pull up my bootstraps and figure something else out. I'm going to have to come back again. But I know now we don't have enough money for the years coming forward. I want to set that expectation. I don't like to have the argument again in three months. So next July. You're telling me that the money that's in the budget now will, be, will have been inadequate to staff? I can't tell you that. It may not be. It may be. I, I, I just know if we hired the people I'm thinking, You're may correct, not be. Skip. The money that we have in the budget right now is not adequate for next year. No, I didn't say next year. Yeah, we didn't next say fiscal year. Next year. I know, but I'm just saying. Okay, so can we just, one second. So when we go to Article 6. Same um, argument there. Okay. Except so, that one's even worse because you have you had a part-time position that you asked for the town meeting approved, and for some reason or other, you never could get a job description, you never could get the position uh, posted, and now you're coming back and saying you're in trouble. Maybe because we didn't have the trouble. staff to get the work done. <laughs> so what? To, to get all this stuff done. It takes a lot of work, Skip. There's constant, you know? We all have other jobs. This is hard. You know, yes, we need staff. I, don't, I haven't had any staff in that office to do all that stuff, plus all the land use, all the zoning stuff, all the Board of Health stuff, all the MVP grants that are coming through, all the sewer grant that's coming through. There's an immense amount of work, plus all the day-to-day -day stuff. Diana's the only one in there. Pat's doing all of, you know, doing bills for... For Kevin and other stuff, I, I don't have the staff to do the work I need done. So, so why did you recommend skip Article 7 and not Article 6 and 5? What's Article 7? Article 7 is $7,500 for the planning board account. The planning board had the $7,500 in, the, in their account, in their budget, for all the years up until about two or three years ago. And we had told them, with your approval, that they should use the revolving fund that had about 20, 20, 25,000 in it. And when they finished using, when they brought that down, then, then to put the money in. So, okay. so the Rachel came last finance committee meeting okay. and said, we're, we're out of money. And it's like, I'm sorry, I, you know, I didn't know if you were out of money. Okay. So, well, no, this is the first I've heard of it. This is the first I heard of it. Okay. So well, I didn't know about it. Heard of it until last, so. Okay. Well, the, I, we've had no discussion of the warrant <clears throat> articles. Okay. So I'm, I'm just asking. So here we are, an hour before time. I know, you're just but I'm sorry. That's warrant. why I'm not in the 350th meeting. I'm trying to sort this out before town meeting. Okay. I've had no I idea what's I'm happening. Not <laughs> okay.
I, I, I have not had any background on this. Okay. So, um, so the 7,500 is new money to the planning board. It's, it's new money to the extent that it's not in the budget, at least in the budget. Okay. Uh, and how are, uh, how are they using this? This was supposed to be for a professional planner, wasn't it? Uh, yes. You have, you have to ask, you have to ask the planning board. Yeah. And we that was my understanding. We actually, why they asked for the 7,500 is because but they, they, they had 7,500 in there in years past, and basically they weren't using it. Yeah, you know, but they weren't using a professional planner either. So, so no, they were, but yeah, they were paying for it out of the revolving fund. This, this, this one does put money back into the budget and yeah. bring their budget back up yeah. to where it was before. But that's because they pretty much used the, whatever they had in the revolving fund. Okay, so they've used the revolving fund. And so this will be for? Um, for normal for operations of the planning board. It'll be for professional. It doesn't put more money, it doesn't make more money available to the planning board. It's just the source of that, those funds are no longer the revolving fund. Right, it's an appropriation for professional planning services. They used to have one in their account and like Skip saying, then you relied on the so revolving how, fund. Yeah, but how are they going to spend it? Because the um, well, the, doesn't have the Correct, but they have been in communication with them and they're waiting for, they are hot, trying to hire somebody. So the other person, they um, they could use other another planner. They don't necessarily have to use the COG. It's just for professional planning services. Or for, if they need help writing decisions, they can lean into Adam or lean into council. We had no money for that um, decision writing in the budget at all for planning oh, board. Okay. So I don't think even 75 is enough, but. So, um, they at one point had a contract with, for 1,500, but half of it was being paid out of the peer reviews. It was with the COG for, for multiple years. So, 15,000? 15 was the total it yeah. used to have. So, so the 75 is, is okay because that's what we've done to the end of the year? Okay. Well, it, it certainly is okay until some other time. And if the end of April, we have another town meeting coming. And if the department, and we've done this basically every year, uh, you know, we do a supplemental budget for the existing, the current year, not a whole lot of dollars, but we do it. And so if they need another $2,000 in April to bring it through the end of the year, that's available. If you needed another $5,000 in the staff account in April, that can be done. And I don't know if we've ever done it for the selectmen, but maybe. And we certainly have done it for other departments. And we're not even, I'm not even talking about the 100,000 that's sitting in the reserve account. I like to leave that in case of an emergency versus the so salaries. So you would, if, if, if we hire someone and we're short, you're willing to let us have I would suggest you can't the first, hire somebody I mean, if, if you're short, right. if you're short, you can't hire somebody if you're short. Then in April, at the annual town meeting. But that As seems so subversive. It, it seems so shystery to, 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 you know, in my mind, because Trevor's trying to be upfront with people that if they want to support the staff, then we should be voting the money, even though we haven't spent it. Skip, I well, totally get it. I don't have a problem, well, I, I say I don't have a problem, but if, if you sat down and said, we're going to put this position, this position, and this position in, then we can, we can argue and debate those positions. We may not agree, but right. at some point in time, you can go to town meeting and say, I need 25000 for this, I need 17000 for this, I need whatever the other number is well, that's or something else. That's pretty much where I was at. Yeah. And well, the problem, of course, is the only position that I can see that you have a reasonable handle on is the assistant town administrator. And we're going to need some more help other than just that person. What are you going to need for help? We'll I think at least that's why I asked for 31000 because I think somewhere between the 20 and 30 range is what we're going to need for help to do extra admin work. Um, and, and that's why I wanted to set that 
uh, expectation to the townspeople that I have a town administrator, an assistant town administrator, Pat, who's doing half her job as other departments. And, and so the reason I've been hesitant is because maybe I shake up Pat's position and she does more select board stuff and we hire somebody in another department. But I wanted that money there in case. Um, I also understand that there, there's someone, which, is, which I didn't know until the last finance committee meeting, that we're paying someone who works in Sunderland to do some data entry. Yes. And I'm not sure, you know, we've done data entry over here in the past, not in the recent years. So, or at least I didn't think we had. Now, maybe we've been doing this Maybe we did this last year. I don't know. It's news to me. It's been helpful. And I don't know why. We don't, we're not doing it here. I don't have anybody to do it. We can find somebody in Sunderland. Yeah. Yes. So maybe we hired them here. I would love that. I just want the ability to be able to hire, and I want to set the expectation for the residents that I want to hire people to do the job. We've just been limping along and limping along, and I, and I, think I want to be. Trevor's trying to be up front. With when you. I hire somebody, I want to make sure there's enough money in that budget to do it. And I understand your point that there is today, but I want to set the expectation going forward with, that this is the budget. You know, I look back and we, we give back. Our office has constantly rolled back the free cash, unspent money, and all I'm saying is that. I, I thought I was right there. You know, this, this, this started when I had somebody, these emotions, and then it all fell apart recently. So I thought I was looking at our thing saying, we're gonna, we're gonna need some money and we're still gonna need some help with all the stuff going on. Let me be honest, I've got a town meeting coming up. Let me ask people, will they support me in this, uh, in this endeavor? I don't have everything completely nailed down, but I have a good kind of idea of what we're gonna need. And then we go ahead if we can make it happen, great. If we can't, just like every other year, it rolls back and we limp along still. Okay. Since I don't mean to push you on this, actually, I do. <laughs> yes, you do. But Article, Article is it 7, the inspections department? Yes. Uh, no, that's Article we, we've 6. We've gone through that before. I thought you and I had agreed. I, I, I'm not fallen on my sword for Article 7, but I, you know, or for Article 6, I think it's the $14,000. But what I heard from our staff was that, you know, we're going to get to the point where we're not going to fund that. We're going to go try and hire somebody at a good rate of money to, to do what we envision, which is different than we've ever done before, and we want to have enough money in that account to do that. If, if everyone's telling me we're going to have plenty of money, I don't, I'm not... My office is I'm concerned with, but the problem is, is that office has been sucked dry by this office with all the constant back and forth and land stuff. Well, so I'm like, I'd rather fund somebody there and free up some staff here. So I don't care where the person goes. There used to be one office. So. Well, right. Maybe we join it all again. And it's all six or one after. So you, yeah. so you know where Trevor's coming for in our office. So would you, so would, are we willing to table Article 6? I want to hear from our uh, town administrator that, that she's good, but if she's well, not, I would ask it's, for it's it. It's just hard so because we haven't well, actually we hired anybody. Numbers in Article 6. Okay. The budget was 148000 and rounding it up. Mm -hmm. You've expended so far 20000 Okay. Well, we're through a quarter of the year. Yep. 20000 There is 127000 left. Okay. Even That's for the commissioner too? Is that commissioner too? Yeah, yeah. So I didn't go through and add up all of the, the numbers. Well, let's try. But if you take the commissioner, the building inspector, the health inspector, and for the rest of the year, and you're talking about a full time clerical position. Yeah, what we were thinking that was running? Office to try manager. And get somebody? Yeah, it's a, it's a grade four. A grade four. What was the, do you remember the amount? 54. 54. Same as Pat. So let me just go back to the easy way to look at it. You have 148000 in the budget okay. at the beginning of the year. That's 
two full, well, it's one full time building inspector and a half time health inspector. And it's one 19 hour position and, it's, and two 19 hour positions. Correct. 147 of that. One's 18 and one's 19. The building inspector. One was 18 and one was 19. The health inspector at, at the same rate that you're now. Yes. And you're adding another 20,000 roughly to the, to the cost of the office, which is a, a $40,000 position. But you had the 40,000 in there for the two half. But well, we were talking to 54, right? Correct, for the total year. For the total year. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same situation as I what know. he's saying for the software. I, 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 we get, get it. it. Yeah, I get it. It's the same for argument, the right? Year. You have right. the money in here for the total year. You might have been a couple thousand dollars short, but you haven't spent. So let's table Article Six because we don't have that person either. I think. But what we're saying, my concern is that what we're doing is then we get this person and we realize we don't have enough money and you can't hire somebody if you don't have it budgeted. You, you, you do have enough money. You, you have do have budget. enough for the rest of the year. Which and my, is the same to get, though. But, but if you're paying a rate that's more than what they want, that's, I, I don't right, know. That's that what I'm saying is if you pay a rate that's more but than what we have budgeted. We're going to explain to town meeting you, that, you have that we have the money now when we... When we hire the person, we'll have enough, but we will be, we need to fund it for the following year, at, at the full well, year. Just and so if people room. are, if people want to table this, it's fine, but this is not going to go away. But the, the problem is it's hard to argue for to give you money to sit and then go, it goes to free cash, it's not available to the town. So in other words, we, we keep having free cash but it's sitting in free cash now, so it's, it's the now. same. It's, it's, it's not I, I know, like but if be. we don't spend it, so we're never I, spending all of our free cash. I have a problem here with this. There was actually money in there, July first, maybe a few, a couple of thousand, two or three thousand dollars short, yes. to do exactly what you wanted to do, and you could have done it for a full year. And the challenge, though, is not having the staff to do it all. So if we're talking, we're yeah, talking in dollars and cents. I'm saying there was a budget. I, I hear you. That, that, yes, we're, the we were just short people. a little bit. What we think, what we think, and it's four months into the year. So, what, we're, and we're not paying. We're not even paying Priscilla now. Yeah. So, that's, so that's another problem that I think we need to address. I know. We also have to cover the insurance. insurance. Priscilla was willing to work for another couple of weeks. Um, I who's going to do the booking? I don't know who's going to answer. I mean, the filing and I don't know who's going to answer the phone. I know. That's why it's important to get somebody. But if we table this, we'll have enough money through the year, and we did almost fund it correctly. Yeah, we have more than enough money. Again, it's one of those things where you well, need to Well, we have had a chance to discuss this. I, I think it's I think it's valued. We discussed it last I know, but uh, year. We discussed it every year. I, and every I think year it's we valid our legs for us. Off. Oh, look at this. There's a planner position salary in here, unfunded, for forty-one thousand. I mean, it's just we do this constantly. We're arguing and negotiating with ourselves, and we don't even have anything to show for it. We have a budget right here. We, uh, you know, we looked at forty-one thousand. We never funded it. Um, it. We're just constantly beating this around. We need the money in the budget for the staff, w whether we spend it or not whether we can get our act together. I know it's frustrating for the residents, but if you don't have it in there, you're not going to hire them. What, what I've been saying is the money is in there. The money was in there July 1st. But tell me, Trevor, tell me he's not going to support it if Skip gets up and says the money is there, which you is absolutely know. true. But in our office, it is potentially not true that the money is there. And, and you're hiring, trying to hire staff for, to be fully staffed. So, I, I mean, legitimately, you can argue for that. Legitimately, you cannot argue for the inspections office because and, the money is there. Well, okay. we don't, we don't know what the staff's going to be yet. That's, That's my only concern. I understand what you're saying, Carolyn. I don't, I don't disagree, but I think part of it is there, you know, there is some like uncertainty in the department. Came up with these numbers. It's one of these. Pull it out of here. No, it's.
it's the total it's salary of the positions well, that it's we the had, total salaries of the position we looked that at. we had articulated that we had like, contemplated so it's for the whole year not just for part of the year 54 54,000 correct for the year that's right and we decided it would and be we decided that it would be it would be short right that's right we decided that's it would why be a we asked for the money position. I didn't ask for it for no reason I mean, we for the total. Well, you did ask it for no reason because the money, is there. the money is there. It's not enough to fund the position. We're having the same yeah, argument over and over and over again. We talked with Brenda and then can arrive at the conclusion that if you hired somebody immediately for about a thousand dollars short. For that department? Yes. I don't think I did that, but I, I do. I, from what I, I got from my town administrator, that to fund that position we'd be about fourteen thousand short. That's in why total, for, for the in total, total year, for a total I year. recognize what Skip it's is saying. Same, I don't I want know, it to I do be too. It's the same. seem like I'm unclear about what he's saying. I get what he's saying. I, I feel too. we need to articulate what the full cost of the position is Correct. for the fiscal year. And it always happens that we're halfway in through a year somewhere. So we're always budgeting for what do we have left? Can we scrape together? We have the money. It's not like we're poor. We have the money to be able to put in there and set the expectations for the residents that this is what that department's going to cost if, for the if year. Have you ever seen this town? It's, it's at a position during the year and at the end of the year not have enough money to pay for it. Because that's what you're saying. That's, that's what, what I'm worried about. I mean, legally, you can't hire somebody. Because you haven't been here and we might have. I just think that it's it, it, it makes me uncomfortable as an administrator to hire somebody at a rate of pay that I know could possibly extend the appropriation. I just have never been in that position. I understand you have reserve fund for un unforeseen and, and emergency, but if you're hiring somebody, you know that's not unforeseen or emergency. So I think it's important to be, to just articulate the full amount. I understand what Skip's saying, that I get it too. it's not necessary to have the funding in this particular fiscal year. I, I understand. Skip, yeah, but I think it's legitimate that Trevor's trying to be upfront with the taxpayers. Fine, be upfront, but use, use real figures. Well, we can disagree that they're not real figures. Uh, they're not. Okay. You, know, you tell me what the real figure is. I think we did already. No. That's, I'm asking, uh, I would be adding 31,000 to the 199 no, that we have. We're talking about the inspection department. It's not okay, so 14,000 on whatever the number was. I'm I think, I'm, 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 was. I think we're going to table that one because we don't have, we, that we're so close to that. We, we have the ability. And, and Why don't just we ask the people? Because the, uh, it, we don't even have a person. We're not, we don't even but aren't we interviewing in correctly right yes, now? Yes, we have an ad out, correct. We have an ad out. We have applications coming in. What, but, what? but by the time we get the person, it will be four months gone of the year. And, and we're, we're back to close. the same argument. Okay. Well, you do what you want. I've, I've made my position known. But I... But I no, it's one one way and one the other way. Well, it's, it's just because not I think I think that Trevor is. We are truly short in our office. If 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 we did a year round hiring, but we are very close in the inspections department. So, what you're saying, Skip? If we went to one third of the amount that we're seeking, because that'll give us the balance of this year, that would be an acceptable amount. What are we talking about? On the funding of both the selectman's office and and I'd like to talk about them individually. Let's not mix. Okay, so you take the thirty-one thousand, you take the ten about ten grand off that because we're about actually working in the fourth month, right? Mm -hmm. So that's actually a third of the year, not a quarter. If I if I look at the inspections department, You started with $127,700. You've expended, we're a quarter of the way through the year, and you've expended less than 14% of the budget. Quarter of the year, you should have expended approximately 25%. So you have a little over $15,000 that, you know, if you would typically, if you had hired the other clerical person, you would not have used the 15000 There was more money in there than you needed. You didn't hear any complaints from me. Your, your building 
inspector has not been in there on a full-time basis, is that correct? He is. He is. He is. Well, he wasn't July 1st. Correct, right. But there was money in the budget if he had been July Yes. Yeah. There was money in the budget for the health inspector. But not enough. No, we paid more, yeah. I think, for the commissioner. Than Correct. Anything. We budget. We didn't budget as much so, so for the commissioner. Did I? Go back to the end of April town meeting. I seem to remember we went line by line down the budgets, mm -hmm. and it seemed to make a comparison for what was being proposed for fiscal year 2020 against the budget for fiscal year 2020. It wasn't against the actual or the forecast of action. Correct. If I remember that. Mm -hmm. So your argument is budget it now with this, this special warrant, et cetera, because then that total budget for 2020 is what you're going to be comparing, comparing to if you do it the same way Correct. as what you did last. You're going to be 21 proposed against 20 exactly. totally budgeted too. And then it'll be consistent for people to understand it. Because it, it wasn't, if I remember correctly, we were nine months into the year, the end of April, right? Mm -hmm. And it was against the original budget or total budget for right. 19. Which we never it was against anyway. the projected action Correct. for the year. So I understand where you're coming from if you're going to keep that format. I thought it was a little strange, to be honest, but if, well, that's the way you have to do it. No. Why is it accountable? Last year, in, in April, if you go back and you look at, and I don't have the budget here, maybe you do, to help. The inspections department, the increase in the inspections department was pretty substantial because we added a position. I don't think that there was any dissension at town meeting. There wasn't. So I don't know what it is that you're complaining about. I'm not complaining. If, no. if the select board goes in and supports it, it typically goes through. If the finance committee adds to that, I don't think it's ever not gone through. Here's, the, here's like from an outsider's perspective, yeah. having kind of, I've been here well, 2004, been position, right? right? So what Trevor's trying to do is make sure that the line items are accurate. Because I hear what you're saying, Skip, but I have been in meetings before. And there's, I, I don't remember when, but there was a town meeting that I recall mm -hmm. that a, a salary was awarded to somebody based upon what was available in the budget for the remainder of the year but what was over that which had been budgeted for that salary, okay? And the argument was that, well, we had the money in the budget for the remainder of the year. The argument from the other side was, yeah, but that's not the rate we had budgeted had you budgeted over the entire year. So that's what Trevor trying is to trying to avoid. That. That's what Trevor's trying to avoid. So I have, I recently I haven't, but I also, oh, just from my, perspective from the last 15 years is that um, the town is much busier now than it has ever been. It has lost the support of FERCOG and it has la lost other support. And so while I do recall there used to be that the planning office was in the town administrator's office, this town is way busier than it has ever been. That just coming from so um, but so that I so that's the that's kind of the perspective. I the argument is the argument that I recall that I think Trevor's trying to avoid, and I hear what you're saying is that well that's not what was budgeted for the salary. It may have been there was enough money to do it, but that's not what we anticipated. And I think that that's what he's trying to avoid. I'm not sure that it's, it's not clear to me exactly what you were talking about. My point is that what we have done as far as has always been budget for what we, you know, if it was the case of uh, the select uh, your, your office, whatever you anticipated expending the following year is what was put in the budget. And it seems to me that that's pretty much, I don't remember ever doing it any other way. Well, now you're suggesting that we need to throw in money into it. Because um, we anticipate it would. John, I think John Bichert at the last finance committee accurately stated 
and I think it was accurate, that essentially you're creating a slush fund. What are we buying? We're not because, buying slushies. Because what you're doing is you're putting money in the budget. If you don't have a particular need for it, yes, we do have the a need. idea that you're going to go ahead at some point in time, maybe you spend it, but you're not going to have anybody looking over your shoulder. I, look, I trust the people that have hired me, that have elected me to run their town honestly. There's no slush fund. We don't buy gifts for people. It's crazy to think that, um, that this select board hides money or has a special fund that we're going to spend it on stuff that we wish we might buy someday. That's ridiculous. This is money. Look, the two positions... 22,000 and 16,000 or 17,000. That winds up to just over $39,000. If we wanted to hire that position for 54, we're short about 14 grand. That's what. That's where the number came from. That's why we're asking for it. 39,000. Yes. That's 10,000 dollars a quarter. I don't care about quarters. It's the year. Come on. I'm not breaking down. We're not playing cards here. So if you were doing this in December, you still would want the entire year's budget. Yes. Or if you did an indicative zero based budget for go forward for the town. I just so want to I be honest that, with people and tell them what the position is. Yes, it is. There's different approaches to doing it, but I see exactly I have okay, so, I have a town so, meeting here today. That's yeah. why I'm okay. asking. Trevor, so what you're doing is it's budgeted for thirty nine thousand three seventy four, right? And we were thinking we might need fifty four for the year, so we put in so the potentially 000. the person that we're hiring is up to fifty four. Correct. If okay. If you were doing this next year, you would exactly do the fifty four. Yes, I would. That's so what. Yes. But we're not actually so we'll no. We, we, we don't know. We don't know for sure the person that we're hiring. So yeah. we're going from thirty nine to fifty four is the range, and that means that we need fourteen thousand extra annually. Annually. Right. So and you might wind up I know with some extra money the, at the end of the year. And so yes, we're gonna probably turn money back if yep. people approve this. But Trevor is being upfront with what, what we're looking for fun. He's being upfront that we want to go up to fifty four. He's showing what the total line item would end up being fifty four. The total budget line I'm item. I'm having the right. argument so, now <laughs> instead of three months from now. So so what's happening, Skip What's happening, it's okay if you don't approve it, but we need to have town meeting look at this and say, do you support us going up to 54 potentially? And that's what the 14 is for. As same as um, the 31,000, potentially we're going to go. Um, Why not make it 50,000 in So I don't need 50,000. You don't know. What do you mean, 50,000 for what? Instead of 31. I, I think we're good at 31. Mm -hmm. If I needed 50, I would have asked for 50. I think I need 31, and I'm good there. And so what does that go up to, Trevor, for the, 30, for the 31,000? That we're would be total. We're increasing the re range. $230,000, right? Right. Just, well, just shy of that. Yep. Okay. Yeah, but, but what we're doing is increasing the range for the... Well, I think the residents will be pleased that I'm not spending a lot of their money. We but I think really again. they're upset because I'm not spending their money because I don't have staff to take care of their business. Yeah. So we you know, it's a double-edged sword. Do you want me to tell you the calculation? I think people will be upset that you don't have the staff. Since the money was in the budget in April. It's not okay. that so, so to go for the 31, what were you increasing? So we did 90 for the town admin, 70 for the assistant, 54. I think for the um, fifty-six. Think fifty-six. Well, that's the number. I, okay, the maybe two sixteen. Right now we're at one ninety-nine. Okay, so so so, so fifty-six, and then we did fifteen um, for just you know for so, additional so staff in case we needed it for minutes or so for support the, uh, for board of health. The assistant is going up to seventy. From mm -hmm. what was what did 50, we budget? Fifty-two. Fifty-two. No, I think we had fifty-six. Oh, Trevor. Which, it's on. Oh, assist, I'm yeah, sorry. Yes, fifty-six. 56. But that's where we're, we're skipped path. <laughs> where you notice that no, we did, we did oh, go 50, out. Okay. We had gone out to hire for that position, and that's where we had four okay. finalists and so hire so what that. we're looking at is going from fifty-six thousand to seventy. Correct. And f and Pat is fifty-one. No, fifty-six 52. or whatever our 52. current is to fifty-two. Okay. And then we had, um, I think, just 15 for the okay. minutes. Okay, what the 31 is, is is increasing our, um, really the town administrator's mm -hmm. assistant to 70, potentially. 
and then they, and then they need some other staff to do the rest of the work. I mean, yes. I would be thrilled Potential. if that one person did okay. everything. Right. But, but what the thirty one they will do board But the thirty board. the thirty one potentially is gonna cover what we think is the market. The market plus plus having the plus minute help and the admin support. help and then some you know the okay. position to help doing all that MVP stuff and the Board of Health. And yes, I'm hoping that Assistant Town Administrator can pick up a lot of okay. that. And maybe we don't have to hire that other person. We talked about then that. Maybe she thought the, we would have enough to do that. Then the argument is that this is, you know, that we're being up front about this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Correct. And if we don't need it, it goes yeah. back. Just, all right. And we're just it, taking it, it, hanging on. If it doesn't work, it goes, goes back. back. Back to free cash. Correct. Okay. And some portion of it probably will because Skip's argument is very valid. Okay. We may have enough in there to cover it. All right. So are we all set then what we're going to do? We're going to do... <laughs> I don't know about that. Our, our, article 1 is you. Yes. We're going to ask Dan if we can move Article um, 9 to, to the article second two. To, to second or do you, place. Would you want it to go to 3 instead since we got rid of 3? No. no. Okay. No, because what okay. we're going to do, because you have we're to table, table it. I you gotcha. Have to table. Gotcha. Okay. So Article Nine is next. Then our, back to Article Two. Um, so that would be me. Okay. Then Article Three table. is is um, table. Yep. Table. Article Four is Dave. Mm -hmm. um, Article Five is you. Yeah. And Article Six is you. Okay. Um, Article Seven is Dave. Yep. Yeah. And Article Eight is me. Okay. Seven's okay. going to be me. Uh, yes, seven's going to be you. Do you under? Do you? Oh, okay. For the planning. Okay. Yeah. Yep. And then you're going to do nine. I'm going to, oh, I'm going to do two. nine. Which is two. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And that's, from what I understand, that include that's the original price plus about fifteen hundred in closing costs. Yeah. Right. Yes. yes. Okay. And then I spoke to Lisa earlier today um, about the mortgage that. Obviously, we're not taking on the mortgage. It will have to be cleared. No, all the everything will have to be cleared. The only two things that will stay on the title there are two easements: there's a sewer easement and the end star easement. Okay. But otherwise, there's a mortgage assignment and a finance statement that all has to be cleared up before the closing. We'll have to get releases for all those. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, all right. Moving on. Yes. Yep, no, that's fine. Okay, so we want to finalize the interim town administrator contract. Mm -hmm. So, you want to make a motion? Uh, I move that we uh, uh, sign the uh, interim uh, town administrator's uh, contract subject to modifications to Article 6, 11B, 12A, and clarification uh, for clarification with town council. Mm -hmm. I'll second that. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Um, so this was to uh, item C under old business was award Titan bond contracts under MVP Mill Village Road Culvert and Kelleher Drive Culvert. Um, I think there was a little bit, um, this is to award the implementation of the um, Mill Village culvert and this is, and, and the design engineering for Kelleher Drive, not the implementation. I think there was a mistake. Typo? Yeah. Okay. Because it was actually implementation doing the work on Mill Village. Right. And it was the design and on Kelleher. And it was design Kelleher. on Kelleher. We, we need the engineering on Kelleher. It's done. Over, oversight of Mill Village. I reviewed the contracts over the weekend. Thank you. So oversight of Mill Village and the design of the culvert. Okay, great. And the other one. Okay. And the, let's see, the, um, it was 19,300 for, that was for Kelleher. For the number. I don't have the number. I, I, I do it here. I have 19,300 oh. for that one and the other. So the end of that. So they're, they're the one that's going to be our representative on the contract. Yes. That's 19.3. Time bond. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so the culvert one is not showing up. Uh, 
61,800. That was probably the engineering. Yeah, unit. the bridge work one is, um, hang on, I'm opening that yep, one up right sure, now. Yep, sure, take your time. Um, the bridge one is 61,800. Yep, the oversight's 19,300. Um, I think that's correct, I don't. Um, oh yeah, yep, Mill Village Road. Somehow it's not coming up here. But so Mill Village 19. Road is, is 19? Three. 19,300. And in addition to is 61,800 for um, the oversight of uh, the implementation of the Mill Village culvert. The 60, no, 61 is the, no, is 61, the Kelleher Drive. 61,800 is the design Sign plans to replace yeah. an existing culvert. Yeah, Kelleher. At Kelleher Drive. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is the engineering surfaces. Okay. Yeah. 61,800 is for Kelleher Drive engineering services. Correct. Yeah. And 19,300 is, is oversight. the oversight of the implementation of Mill Village Road culvert <laughs> by a separate contractor. Uh, also time bond. <laughs> Of both to time bond. Yes, yes. that yep. is correct. Yep. Okay, thank you. This contracts with Titan bond. Mm -hmm. So, anybody want to make a motion? No, I made that motion. Oh, then I, I'll second that. Any further discussions? I think we talked about that. No. No. Nope. Okay. Also. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Um, did we want to discuss administrative and land use inspection office staffing? Since we just had a big long conversation about it, or do yes. you want it? You want we to just had a long discussion. Yeah, so do you want to, I guess the only well, thing yeah. is that I wanted, I did um, want to just put the executive, I mean, excuse me, the assistant back out. I wanted to advertise that. I just want to make sure you were supportive of that. Yes. Okay. All right. So are we not advertising right now? or No, right now we have, no, it, we're not for the assistant. For the office, for that job we are. We that's are. on the street right She's now. We have interviews set up for that. Yeah. But I want to put the executive, I mean, oh, the okay. assistant town administrator back on the street tomorrow. Okay. With the same job description, same right. ad, yep. basically. Do we, yeah. have, do we have the town administrator job out for? Not yet. We're going to discuss that, but not today. Oh, okay. And then, um, okay. So and then I think just depending the results of tonight's meeting, then we would, then we'll, you know. But we do have that yeah, job right. already posted, and we have um, candidates, and we have interviews uh, scheduled. Okay, great. So that's perfect. Did you? Uh, all right, never mind. Oh, we can talk about it later. Mm -hmm. It's okay. I just want to make sure the process. Yep, are, we will. It's still open, right? Correct. It's yes. still open. Yes. Okay. Yes. The town administrator's job. Posting is still is that open. What you're asking? Oh, for I don't. The inspections. Oh, for the inspections. Oh, the inspections. The inspections. Yes. That's what about the town administration? So that oh, was, that's that suspended still... at the moment. But we haven't. We're going to discuss whether we would hire a company to go and do that. I just think it's longer than this discussion right now. But I think it would make sense to get the ATA back in place. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. So, um, new business. Um, we have uh, obviously accept the resignation of assistant town administrator. I don't know if we need to vote for that, but well, actually, it's supposed to go to the, um, it Barbara. has yeah. it okay. has gone. Oh, it has gone. Yep. To Barbara. Okay. So let's take a vote tonight. Um, I make a motion. We accept the resignation. Second that. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Um, let's see. Vote to adopt consent agenda process. This we tried to get done last week, but. We had a short meeting and all, but so this is just kind of to organize our agenda a little bit clearer. So the minutes and anything that's kind of one day liquor licenses, simple stuff can be in the consent agenda. We can vote for that one item. We tried doing this with Doug a while back and then it fell off the mm -hmm. apple cart. So we just want to get that back on. There's, uh, there's information in the process here where you could read and anybody can always pull agenda off of that. There's no like rushing things through. So if anyone has to discussion on any stuff, but I would like to take a vote to do that. Um, is there a specific motion. A, a motion that I need on that or just to accept it? I think just a motion to do a consent agenda yep. and then with the Great. parameters. So I would make a motion to... Um, or adopt a consent adopt agenda a consent process. Adopt consent agenda process. We'll second that. Okay. Any further discussion? There is all kinds of stuff in here to read about it if you, if you want to. Um, no, we tried to do it already. Yeah, it's let's, just, let's just keep on that if we can. Yeah. That'd be great. Mm -hmm. Move things along. So, um, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. So then we would approve a one-day um, 
wine and malt license for the Apple Fest at Yankee Candle. And this looks like Saturday, October 5th. I make a motion to do that. Second All the licenses are in order, right? Can correct. You yes, and you'll correct. Get those for us to sign. Yes, here they are. Okay. And then. So we had also uh, item D was to authorization to engage an engineer for review of river road failure. Mm -hmm. So that's something that Kevin had asked Mike to put on the agenda. Um, yep. We had um, taken out the documents from Wesson and Samson that they had done the design and we had some construction done. So we'd like to call them back in and have them take a look at what's going on and see if there's some uh, remedy that could be and we thought that was because a pretty short amount of money they had yeah, in his budget. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Like just, I mean, we, we um, you know, obviously they were the engineers of record, but they did do a project, and according to Kevin, it did fix a good portion of it, but there is part of it that's failing. It's still so slipping. We yeah. need to figure that out. So, um, yes, I'd like approval to do that, and I would take that out of, if Kevin doesn't have it in his public works, I'd take it out of contracted services. Okay. So, uh, well, I'd make that a motion to authorize, authorize uh, to that. engage the engineer. Second. Um, any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, so part-time police officer appointments. We would um, take a motion to uh, appoint the two new police officers that Chief asked us. Christopher before. Garmello and Philip Snow. I'll just find those real quick here. I'll make a motion that we... Um, letter, right? Yeah, it appoint a, a part-time police officers. Yep. Christopher Carmelo and uh, from Leiden and Philip Snow from Conway. And they were both special police officer and assistant dog officer. Great. Yes. Beginning two term uh, September 25th, 2019 and ending June 30th, 2020. So all those in favor? Aye. 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 And we'll sign those too. You have probably copies of those. Or, um, we also have appointments. Item uh, F would be appointments to the CIPC for uh, Jeffrey A. Upton and Francis G. Sobieski. Barbara Hancock would be non voting ex officio, and Diana Schindler would be non voting ex officio. Make that motion. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. I don't know where the police department so and then we have uh, item G, request for comments. So 198 Village, Bill Mill, uh, Bill Mill, Bill Village Road, uh, revised site plan review and stormwater application, RE Marijuana Establishment. We had some questions on their um, propane. Yeah. Yeah. Protein, propane, I made a, um, I, I said I would not support a propane size of 60,000 gallons. Correct. It's way, I kind of agree with that. Too much. So um, apparently they are addressing that, though. Yeah. I've heard that they're going to be um, changed. So I, I, I mean, the average, you can't, they don't want to, you can't bury it underground. So, I mean, I would be looking at like 10,000 gallons. 10 to 20, right? Yeah. Um, like well, that. I think or their engineers are, have got that something. message, right? In yes. Our, so I what know. do we want to say? We want to make sure that the propane tank size is addressed. I, okay. I believe it is, but I want to make sure. Okay. You got that? You yep. That? Perfect. Um, and it appears, it appears that the, you know, the processing is similar to what already happens in the processing of agricultural mm -hmm. products, but we just want to ver verify that. Okay. I mean, at least I would like to verify that. To, uh, what was the, it was other than this? What was the other item? The, it was, it appears that the, the processing. Who? Who? The guys are back. They're call, they're you're going to call the order. Yep. You're going to oh. call it to order. Cause call the order, please. Meeting. Quiet, we're still in a meeting. Thank you. My response to this. Oh, sorry. Um, the plant processing is similar. The agricultural plant processing is similar to what is already occurring in town. Okay. But we just want to verify that. You know, like the distilling of lavender is the same as distilling of the oils. Um, washing of spinach is the same as, you know, clipping of the marijuana plants but we just want I just want to verify it because okay. because it is defined as manufacturing 
but it, it, it would just be good to go over it and make sure that the processing is in true agricultural processing, not, not, not any kind of manufacturing. Yeah. Right. right. Okay. Because right. it's defined as manufacturing. I do not believe there's any manufacturing, right. but I want to make sure. Right. Right. It makes sense to not, from right. a security point of view, not to be trucking the plate thing all over town right. and, or another location and to do it right on the spot. Yeah. But it appears Only that the, the processing agricultural is agricultural processing and not right. actually manufacturing. Yeah. I just want to make sure. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. So, uh, town administrator's report, do you want to? Have well, anything to say in the next I, couple minutes? I or mean, we? I had so I have put together um, like a blog, which I'll email you too. It okay. has my highlights for, like, for the day. But basically, um, you know, we uh, last week I attended the we had the first working group meeting of the um, the Council on Aging or the Senior Center group working yep. group. So I went to that meeting. Um, we uh, worked on the motions, of course. I followed up with some residents on on items. Um, you know, I mean, I know I'll give it to you. I'm not sure it's you know, okay. That's fine. I, I need to. I, before we go, though, I'd like to just um, make sure I've got confirmation on the article so I can go over those with Dan on Please. who's going to do what. So yeah. Article One, um, Trevor, you're going to move that. You'd yes. like to move uh, Article Nine to. To two, yes. I'd like to have him uh, accept yes, that. Yes, if he's, if he's um, okay with he's that. He's okay with that. And then, Carolyn, you're going to read uh, two. Article three, you're going to do a motion to pass over. Yeah. Article four, David, you're going to read that. Trevor, you're going to read five and six, or move five and six. Carolyn, you're going to move seven. Is that no, correct? No, no, Dave. Dave's going to move seven. Do you have a copy of the motion? I do. I need those. I've printed them, and I'll, I'll, ma I'll make you a new copy yeah, once I you. revise this. Um, and then Article 8, Carolyn will move, and Article 9, Carolyn will move. Um, do you have the breakdown for Article, uh, the original Article 2 here, the for the um, MVP, what, uh, the 78? Yes, I have the yes. breakdown Yes, here. I have the... Well, I have, I have one here, but yeah, you have some? Yeah, I have some? copies of those, Carolyn. I don't Can know you, you... No, I don't. Well, okay. don't we give her copies, and yeah, if I, I can have copies of the motions, too, would be great. Yep. All right. Thank you. Yep. I just want to make sure in case somebody asks me what it is. So it's 53,170, I mean 173 for the culvert. What's the quorum? It's 35. We have to go check in. Yeah. Did you adjourn the meeting? Or no, we didn't. I, I don't know where Trevor went. Mm -hmm. Oh, there he is. We have to ask Dan. We have to ask Dan to make, move the motion too. Yes. So, do you still have the meeting? No, we're going to adjourn in a moment I'm, here. So, okay. do you, I, I also just want to make. Uh, make an announcement that tomorrow evening, 10 one, uh, at 6 p.m., we have a tick night here uh, for a gentleman from UMass. His name is? Paul. Paul. He'll be coming to discuss um, life cycle of ticks. And I know if anybody can be uh, be quiet in the, in the room because residents can't hear. So I'm gonna speak up a little bit. Jonathan, can you just confirm that the mics are working and the people can hear in the audience? And I'll speak up a little bit so people can hear. Tomorrow evening, uh, on October 1st at 6 p.m., there will be a tick night here in this office, in this room, and we'll be discussing the life cycle of ticks. And what, what, uh, UMass is coming to give a, a talk about it and um, about how how dangerous they are now. The, the, the level of bacteria, other than just um, Lyme. Lyme disease. There's a lot of other bacteria that are, that are roaming around on these things. And so um, if people can come and listen to that, that'd be great. Um, on October 2nd at uh, 6 p.m., we have a hazardous mit mitigation uh, municipal vulnerability. I can't hear you, sir. Input. Well, yes, if everyone could be quiet so I can yell. Um, and Jonathan, please get the speakers going so people can hear. Um, October 2nd, Hazardous Mitigation MVP Public Input Meeting at 6 p.m. here in this room. So if people want to come 
to that and listen. We have a lot of um, issues in town with vulnerability and flooding of Bloody Brook, and this is a time to kind of talk about the issues that you have in town. Come and discuss these. Carolyn, do you want to add anything to that? It's, it's your opportunity to complain. We're also going to update our um, municipal vulnerability preparedness plan by adding the tanks down at the um, sewer treatment plant. So if you could come, uh, we'd really appreciate it. And the last uh, meeting we have scheduled to be um, a general select board meeting on October 9th at normal 6 p.m. So make a motion to adjourn. All those in favor? Aye. Aye.